Hi there, my name is Kunderberg and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is another film review. Uh, this one is Captain Kronos Vampire Hunter. It's a horror. Came out in 1974. The rating is 15. Uh, it is an hour and 27 minutes long. Amazon rating is 4 out of 5. IMDb is 6.4 out of 10. And the Amazon synopsis is a horror mystery. When several girls are killed, Dr. Marcus suspects vampirism and enlists the help of a powerful vampire hunter, Kronos, who has dedicated his life to the cause. Don't tell you much, does it? Um, so the director is Brian Clemens, C L E M E N S, who also directed Shooting Gallery. The producer is also Brian, uh, who produced The Avengers, the series, uh, and Albert Fennell. F-E-N-N-E-L-L, -L, who also did The Avengers. Music was by Laurie ja Johnson, that's L-A-U-R-I-E Johnson, who again did The Avengers. Um, now the cast, I've only picked the main ones, there are others as well, but I've not really picked those. We have Horst, I think that's how you spell it, say his name, Janssen, H-O-R-S-T-J-A-N-S-O-N, who was Kronos. And is it, he was in Der Bastian, D-E-R-B-A-S-T-I-A-N. John Carson, who was Dr. Marcus, was in Doomsday. John Cater, C-A-T-E-R, was Grost, and he was in The Abominable Dr. Fibes. And Caroline Munro, M-U-N-R-O, who was Carla, and she was in The Spy Who Loved Me, the James Bond film. Um, the locations is, uh, believe it or not, Black Park, Ivor Heath in Buckinghamshire and Elstree Studios in Boreham Wood in Hertfordshire. Uh, it's also known as Vampire Castle and a little bit of extra info, it was filmed between the 10th of April and the 27th of May 1972. So it's not like the days nowadays where a film takes like six years to produce, it did it in less than a month. <laughs> or just over a month. Um, so straight off when the, the credits are coming up it tells you it's a Hammer film so I was like oh great I love Hammer films they're, they're one of my favourite types of films for horrors or not even horrors some of the other Hammer films are not horrors there's, there's quite a few that are non-horror but they're no, mostly synonymous with um, with horror films um, now it starts just like the trailer so you've got that blonde girl brushing her hair um, and it's, it was kind of weird though because she saw the vampire in the mirror and I was like I thought they didn't have any reflections. So that kind of confused me. Um, then the music kicks in. It's like trumpet and drums with some violins. Um, like the horses galloping. It's it's alongside like... Doo -doo 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 so it's like that thing. And the, the drums are going really heavy. And, you know, and it's, you know, you, you can see a person actually, you know, riding a horse. Because it's Kronos. Um, so the, the vampire is interesting. Um, so it's daylight, and he just walked by some flowers, and then instantly they died. So it's kind of like death walking by, you know, just sort of wafts by, and all the flowers that were alive just <laughs> die instantly. Um, and then he attacked a girl with a cross around his neck, so he's breaking all the rules that you all know, you know. Um, daylight, for a start, that was also in daylight, I forgot that one. Um, so it's daylight, uh, walking across flowers that die, attacking somebody with a cross and got a reflection. It's just completely weird because you don't normally know this. You see all the other ones. So, um, Acronis' friend, which was uh, Grost, who was John Cater, um, seems to know all about vampires. And so Corona says what he doesn't know would not fill a flea's codpiece. <laughs> so, right. Okay. So there's many types of vampires apparently in different ways to kill them. So there you go. Um, pardon me if I cough. <coughs> Still getting rid of this cold. It's dark as usual. Can't see a blasted thing. You know. Obviously it's based in the time before um, electricity, but nobody puts any candles on or anything like that, you know, because they can all just walk around in the complete pitch blackness and it's perfectly fine, so they would have to spend any money on special effects or sets or anything like that. So, so Cronus was in the bar, right, 
was asking the barman, has he seen a coach and horses? Uh, there's some other guys there, and they'll take the mickey out of, um, of Grost, because he's got this, this hump on his, on his back. Um, so he asks again, you know, about the coach and horses, and then the barman starts to hide, because these three other guys are getting a bit more, you know, full on. You know, you can tell that something's going to happen, so... Um, so then he basically just killed them all in, in, in a second, like that with it. Because they're all wearing, it was the days of, um, of ni uh, not knives, uh, swords and stuff like that. So the, you know, there was, I don't know if there were any guns, but they were just, they just used knives, uh, swords, like like the, the fencing ones. Uh, so they all died in literally a second, right? And then he turns to the bar and he says, you still haven't answered my question. Just all matter of fact like that. It was just the way he did it, it was so so kind of funny in a way because it wasn't like ha ha thing it was just instantly just turned around and says you still haven't answered my question oh no sir no sir we've not seen any <laughs> um so they obviously had to find out how to kill a vampire because each has its own way of, of dying so it was quite interesting watching that bit um it's not the typical well it was there was the typical state through the heart thing but that didn't work <laughs> so I was like, oh, and they were like, hmm, okay, not that one. We have to try something else. They tried, I think, about four different ways. Uh, it's quite interesting. I didn't realise there were different ways to kill a vampire. I thought there was just one. Um, and then there was this decent sword fight towards the towards the end because I was again, it's one of these films I just loved. Um, the sword fight, you know, they're all like doing proper sword fighting and jostling and jumping over tables and chairs and running up and down the staircases and falling over and you know that kind of stuff you, you, you know the, the type and the around them is like these people I'm not going to say who they are um, they're all like in a trance because of the vampire that's there um, so they're all it's, it's a completely weird all, you know, I'm surprised they didn't get killed um, obviously not in real life but in the actual film uh, it's interesting didn't know it wasn't what I was expecting, um, but it was a very good film. Now, it's not the usual cast in the Hammer film, so the, the usual cast is the... I'm not saying the Peter Cushions and the Christopher Lees. They, they, I mean, they are the usual people, but you get other people as well. I mean, the famous one is Michael Ripper, who's like the number one. He's been in more Hammer films than anyone else, believe it or not. I'm sad that I know that kind of rubbish. Um, but there wasn't any of the usual people that I've kind of seen these these films. You sort of watch them and you go, oh yes, I remember I've seen him in so and so. There was none of them, so um, that was quite interesting because the main characters uh, is he German? I don't know where he comes from. He he must be German because he's he's uh, yeah he's German. So it's it's so so bizarre because you, you just don't expect a German actor to be in a Hammer film um, as the main character. So that was kind of interesting, um, but I enjoyed it. I thought I thought it was a great film. I was going to give it a seven. I mean, it had what? Um, what did I say? It was a, f a six point six point four. So yeah, it's it's good enough. A seven, I would say, definitely a seven. Definitely enjoyable. Uh, yeah, yeah, very good. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, watching and listening to this uh, film review of Captain Kronos, the Vampire Hunter. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of other film reviews. I've got quite a quite a few now. Um, uh, I mostly do f game reviews and let's plays, but I do dabble into the film reviews because somebody asked me ages ago and I did it as a one-off. And I thought, you know what? I like this. Why not do more? I like watching films. Doesn't everybody? Uh, so there we go. I've enjoyed it ever since. Um, okay. Well, uh, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>